Hey guys, this is Ragguy Gaming here today with another Roblox scripting tutorial. And today, if you can't tell from what I have typed in the chat box, we are doing chat commands or admin commands or whatever you want to call them. Now, if you've been a follower of my channel for a while, a subscriber, you pro I probably know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait, haven't we done chat commands and admin com commands before, especially the kill command? And I would say yes. Yes, we have. However, Roblox recently, I don't know if recently means like this year or the back end of this year. I don't keep up with it too much. Um, but I think it was around the time they started for their whole like filter everything, sensor everything push. And they basically redid the way their chat system works. And so that means a new way to do commands. And while it is easier in a sense it is harder to understand at first and to be honest I don't even understand it fully so for this tutorial I recommend you have a basic to intermediate understanding of how Roblox works in the scripts and Lua um, you might be able to scrape by if you don't know too much but that's what this video is for so hopefully everyone can understand it to a degree and so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and we are going to jump into our script so let me close these and so today we will not be working in workspace we will be working in the chat service and when you get to your game yours should or probably will be empty and what you're going to want to do is fix that and fill it up with something. So you're going to right click it, go to insert object and insert a folder right here. And once you do that, it'll be like this and you're going to want to name it chat modules, all one word, the C and the M are uppercase. And inside of that folder are your different commands, one script per command. Now, if you notice from the picture here, these aren't normal scripts. These are actually modu module scripts. So if you go into right click your folder and go insert object and look around, you will see down somewhere here that we have what is called a module script and so let's first take a look at my kill command and as you can see here it looks pretty intimidating but to be honest we don't really care about much of any of this except the outside wrapping and so kind of all this stuff in the middle pretty much is just my kill script everything else is what's important and so the first thing you're going to want to do is when you create a new module script, it will look like, let me create a new one. It will look like this. And so what you're gonna want to do is get rid of this and then where it says module type run, and then you're going to say function run and in parentheses, you will say chat service. And this is just the way that Roblox handles its chat commands. Um, you can't really change it at all because that's just the function that it calls and that's what you could change this but it's probably not the best idea. So that's what you're going to want to do to set this up or of course just copy and paste the one I'm going to post below. But as you can see here I've done that return run is down here and the function chat service is up here. Let me put an enter so it's a little more distinct. Then the next line you're going to have is you're going to invoke a method are they called or a function they're called functions in Lua <laughs> on the chat service called register process commands function this is probably the longest function name I have seen in my life but that's just what they called it so that's what you gotta type and it takes through two parameters the first is the name of your command so I called it kill because that's what I my command does. Um, this isn't too important. You can name this whatever you want. The only importance of it is if you want to later like unbind the chat command so it won't work later on. But I can only see a very few 
situations where you'll want to do that and then the second parameter is a function so here we start a function and this one takes three parameters it takes speaker name a message and channel so speaker name is the person that chatted so if I chatted it would be right one two three message is what I said and then the channel is what channel I, the chat channel I set it in. So if it was like TeamSpeak or a Whisper or the public chat channel. And um, we won't be really doing a lot with the channel, but it can be useful if you want to take a look into that. So basically then the first line I have here is if speaker name is equal to Rai123. And what this does is it lets only me use this chat command. So let me get rid of all this right now. And so basically it comes in here and checks if I am the one speaking. And if it isn't, it returns false. And so the next thing I do is I get a substring from my message. So if I say slash kill ry123, that's the entire message. But here I just want to check to see if they said slash kill because every single chat I make will be passed through this. And if it contains slash kill as the first part of it, then it will determine a victim from the rest of the message. So this gets a substring from the seventh in position onward. And it gets the character by finding the model with the same name as the victim in workspace and then it, if that character exists this just is here so I if I type it wrong it won't crash then we look for the humanoid of that victim character and if that exists then we set its health equal to zero and we return true and from what I can tell if this returns true that means that the message will not appear in the chat box. If you notice when I type slash kill or I one two three, it just did the command. It didn't appear in the chat box. So I think I, I'm curious here and I want to try this on camera. If I return false instead of true, it should when I type slash kill Ryan one two three. Oops. <laughs> It should still show up in the chat box as you can see there and we didn't get any errors those are errors from other things so that's what the true or false really does it just returns if you want it to show up into the chat box if it's true it won't and this can kind of be useful if you want to have like discrete admin commands that like no one notices are going on so you can kind of get tricky with that but yes this is my kill script feel free to copy it and I won't be posting this one in the description, but I will be posting this one called generic chat command. And basically what I've done here is I've came and set up a kind of generic model for what you might need. And so basically the only things if you took this, you would have to change are the command name right here. So you would change that for if you remember from my other script, that's where I just called it kill. You would, so you would change that and then you would change the message you're looking for. Now you might have to per, look for a substring and it, you can look up on the Roblox wiki how to do that or kind of model it off this. So for just for a quick example, this string.sub, it takes my message, so slash kill rye123 from the first to the fifth spot, which would be slash kill. So I check if those are equal. And that's how you do a substring. So it's the string you want to sub, the start index, and the stop index. And then one other thing, if you want to, you add a, another if statement above here, and you say if speaker name is equal to and then you can add like someone's name here. You can say or speaker name is equal to and you can keep doing that if you only want specific people to be able to use the command and I will need to put another end here because I made another if and I will tab all this over to make it look nice. 
and so this is what I will post in the description so now you know what to change and everything and I hope you found this helpful and I hope you didn't find it too don't find it too difficult I will be willing to help if you have problems just post the output that you get if you get any errors and I will try to help you through it and so thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe for future tutorials and I hope you all have a great day goodbye